Hey friends, I'm Sneesh from Team Mush and in this video, I'm going to respond to one of our subscribers who asked us how to convert a repetitive decimal number to a proper rational form, you know, rational number. You might be remembering when I discussed the topic number system, in that I discussed each and every term and that is natural number, whole number, integers, uh, then prime numbers, composite number, rational and irrational numbers. So during that time, I said you that rational numbers are the numbers which can be written in as a ratio. Suppose what I mean to say is suppose if the number is 0 uh, 0.5, uh, this is a rational number because this can be written in as a ratio because 5 by 10 is a ratio that would give me 1 by 2 that is it's a ratio so 0 0.5 is a rational number. Now now the query here arises is if suppose the number is 0 0.23785 something 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 the never ending number now this number cannot be written in as a ratio so i denoted this thing that if any number cannot be written in as a ratio this can be this is a irrational number which cannot be written in as a ratio so I said this thing. So I denoted irrational numbers as the numbers which are non-terminating and, and non-repetitive. Suppose this is the number 0 0.23785. This is non-terminating. This has no end and is non-repetitive. Now suppose if it was number was like 0 0.23232332. This is non-ending but it is repetitive because 2 3 2 3 2 3 are this digits these digits are repeating itself so what should i denote the are these rational numbers or irrational numbers they cannot be irrational because irras for irrational numbers i say that these are non terminating and non repetitive these are non these are non terminating yes of course but these are repetitive so these cannot be irrational numbers now also these uh, these numbers don't seem to be rational as well because i said that rational numbers are the numbers which can can be written in as a ratio but how could i write this number in a ratio uh, i don't know where it ends so i don't know how many zeros i'm gonna i'm gonna put because it's not ending somewhere so i don't know uh, how to write this in a ratio so this video i'll discuss a trick how to convert the repetitive numbers repetitive decimal numbers in a proper rational form so here we go I'm taking a general type uh, which can be further used and for any type of question. Suppose uh, you have a number, suppose 0 0.x, y, z, y, z, y, z, and y, z, y, z, y, z. Suppose you have this number and you have to convert this number in proper rational form. What you are going to do is first write this number as 0 0.x, y, z and bar on this yz because yz is a term which is repeating itself so i'm going to put the bar on this number yz now the proper rational form of this number would be x y z minus x divided by some number of nines i don't know how many number of nines yet and followed by some number of zeros now to decide how many of uh, how many nines I have to put and how many zeros let me tell you one thing the number of digits on which bar is there like in this question uh, there are two digits on which bar is there yz so I'm gonna put those number of nines so in this case two nines would be there you got me I said the number of digits on which bar is there will divide by those number of nines hope you that makes sense and for zeros the number of digits in which there is no bar in this case uh, only x was the number in which there was no bar so i have written i will write here one zero i will just erase this one more zero so now this makes sense two number of nines because uh, there were two digits which were repeating itself yz 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 there were two digits so those number of nines and followed by those number of zeros in which which uh, were not uh, repeating there was no bar on them in this case the number was x only one digit so one zero 
in there might be some question where there is uh, suppose the number is 0.232323 in this case i will write it down as 0.23 bar in this case there are uh, there is no number in which bar is not there because so in this case what i what my proper rational form would be 23 minus number without bar and in this case there is no number where, where there is no bar so i'll write 23 minus 0 divided by the number of nines on which bar is there in this case 23 there are two digits in which uh, nine are there so i'll write in two nines followed by the number of zeros uh, in which there is no bar again there is no number in which there is no bar so i'll i won't write any zero so this is the answer 23 upon 99 this is the proper rational form of the above number 0.232323 something like that let me take one more example suppose the number is 0.432323 and so on so on now in this case my answer would be i would write it down as 0.432 and bar above 32 because 32 are the numbers which are repeating itself so now the rational form would be 432 minus the number on which there is no bar in this case 4 is the number where there is no bar on which there is no bar divided by the number of nines in which on which there is bar in this case 3 2 are the two digits so i will write down two nines followed by the number of zeros in which there is no bar in case in this case there is only one number on which there is no bar that is 4 so i'll write down 1 Zero. So after uh, simplifying this thing, you will get the proper rational form of this. That's it. So hope our subscriber got the answer uh, for his query. We wish to hear more about this video, and also if you have any further queries uh, regarding any topic, or you want uh, you want any help regarding any topic, uh, we would be willing to help you out. Uh, do put them in the comment section below. uh for this video that's enough and well be must and keep rocking <laughs>